crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of rain this morning though, but it didn't fall where the drought is extreme. Here's a map that shows you where the heaviest rainfall this morning. We had between an inch to three inches of rain in that darker orange in northwest Missouri, but that's great for you. However, there's an extreme drought to the south. Marshall, Sedalia, Warrensburg, Knob Noster, Whiteman Air Force Base, Clinton, Coal Camp, Warsaw, all in an extreme drought. And this is the new update. It comes out every Thursday. So we need some more widespread rain, especially to the south of I-70. And we just don't have that in the forecast for the rest of today. Now, there is a chance tomorrow evening you could get some rain. Today's weather impact is because of the high heat. Yes, it is is going to be getting hot. If you're under the clouds up north, you're thinking it's actually almost cool. But once those clouds clear, all that humidity and the temperature is going to soar and it's going to feel like it's between 100 and 109 easily, especially south of Kansas City, where the air temperature is expected to hit 100. So here's our forecast for the city. The weather impacts indicated with the yellow triangles correspond to the high heat that we'll have in the afternoon and the early evening. Winds will be about 10 miles an hour, sometimes a little gustier than that. But look at the temperature difference right now where it's cloudy, 73 Trenton, 75 Cameron, where the sun is out, 92 Lacine, 92 degrees in Garnett. It's only 78 degrees right now in Kansas City, but the clouds are starting to part. Sun's coming out and we'll get up to 98 degrees this afternoon and you can see all the triple digit heat down where the sun is going to be more abundant today. Talked about that chance of rain tomorrow. It looks like we do the same thing again tomorrow morning with storms possibly severe moving across northern Kansas and Missouri first and then the afternoon we're hot, we're partly cloudy, and then watch what happens after 4 p.m. Here comes a flare up of thunderstorms for the evening hours around Kansas City and even farther to the south. Those will continue on Sunday. We'll